Hello and welcome to 13 Paranormal. Today the team are in Nantwich, Cheshire and we invite you to join us as we reinvestigate Hat Green Nuclear Bunker. Today the team are reinvestigating the Hat Green Nuclear Bunker. This building, which has been surrounded by conflict for over 300 years, death, murder and mystery surround this whole area. So it's no surprise that there have been many reports of paranormal activity here. Activity ranges from knockings, tappings, the sound of a whimpering female near the staircase, furniture that will move on its own accord, sightings of a male wandering around the floors, and that's just a small taster of what happens here. So with all of this in mind, what will be in store for the 13 Paranormal team tonight? This is the main communications area, and in the 1950s it was used as an equipment room. Many people have seen the ghost of a woman walking through this room and out through the door. Also, a dark ghostly figure has been seen and at the same time makes the temperature drop within a matter of seconds. So who are these spirits and why are they still here? We aim to find out. In a shocking turn of events, many people will claim to see human body parts sticking out of the ground. Some believe that the land, whilst it was under government control, was used to dispose of people they had murdered for sinister reasons. When the bunker was first taken over, a chemical barrel that would have been ideal to dissolve body parts was found. The MOD and government denied any knowledge of how or why the chemical got there or its intended use. In the 1950s, a crumpled body was found at the bottom of these stairs. It belonged to a young woman belonging to the Auxiliary Air Force. Some people say she jumped, others say she was murdered and the crime was caused. Since then, she's been haunting this place, sometimes reenacting her last seconds. Her ghostly apparition has been seen slamming into the hard concrete floor, and sometimes she just stands there as though trying to say something. But what can we find out on tonight's investigation? Hat Green Nuclear Bunker has a history way before the Second World War. Near to this site, the Battle of Nantwich took place on the 25th of January 1644, where 11,000 soldiers lost their lives in just two hours, making it one of the worst battles during the English Civil War. In keeping with this theme, Hat Green was built to confuse the enemy during World War II by acting as a decoy for the main railway hub at Crewe, and in 1941 it became RAF Hat Green to protect the land between Birmingham and Liverpool. After the war, it took on a new purpose, where it was modernised as part of the top secret rotor project. Together with other nerve centres, it gave early warnings of enemy attacks, enabling our Air Force to protect the country. Hat Green was integral to the military and civil aviation traffic control service during the 1950s too. In 1966, it was decided that Hat Green had served its purpose and was mothballed, but in 1976, it was acquired by the Home Office and became a regional government headquarters, one of many in the country which would be used if we came under a nuclear attack. After the Cold War ended, the site was sold in 1992 and declassified in 1993. 1998 saw Hat Green Nuclear Bunker open to the public as a Cold War museum. Over the years, thousands of people worked and lived here with many stories of fatal attractions, possible suicides and shady murders. So will we meet some of these old officers tonight? We've been here many times before and for the last hour or so uh, we've been getting reacquainted with the building layout. So how have you felt walking around? Uh, there is quite some interesting feelings, especially when we go into the little theatre. Don't you think so? Yeah, it's not a very nice room in there. I've, I've gone around um, the whole area and taken some photographs 
and already I've had a couple of pictures of some orbs in there and it's quite, even with the lights on, it's quite spooky in there. Yeah, so I'm quite interested probably to go and sit in there for a little while and see what happens. Yeah, I know one of our members doesn't like going in there either. She really doesn't like it. So what has intrigued you so far? Um, I'd like to go in the government offices. It's now quite a big room, but I feel the last time we were here, we did get some good vibes from it. So I'd like to go back in there this evening and see if we pick up anything else, don't you? I'm quite interested in the corridor here. Um, I'm not sure, but I think there's, there's somebody hanging around down there at the moment, so I'd like to take quite a few photos when we've got them out, so I think mm -hmm. uh, I'll put them down there. So this building was used by the MOD for many years. So do you think we will get any of the people who once worked here communicate with us tonight? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think, think so. We've so we got, well. we got a few... The last few time we came, we got, got, time. got yes. quite a few knocks and taps and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so hopefully we'll get that again and uh, open a bit more. Yeah. So we're quite excited. So we've tried numerous experiments on the previous investigations, so is there anything that you'd like to try here? Um, I'd like to try the box again in the, in the uh, government offices. Yeah, give that a go. Give that a go again. So is there an area that you're already attracted to that you want to investigate? The theatre, I think. The yeah. corridor. She wants to go to the corridor and I want to go to the theatre. <laughs> Me and Claire. <laughs> If there are any energies here, any spirits that roam this bunker, could you follow my voice to where we are? We don't mean you any harm, we're just here to talk to you and to understand why you're still here. You've met some of us before on previous visits. So please don't be frightened of us, we're here to talk. If you can, use all the energy in this room, all this collective energy to come forward To either show yourself as a light, to move an object, to make a noise, what someone's brought. Oh, yeah. No one, <coughs> no one moved the foot. No, so no we did. It. I heard thought, so. I did hear something. If there is an energy around us now who made that noise, we believe it was a footstep. Could you make that noise again, please, but much louder and closer? If you can use this collective energy. Did you hear that? I heard that. That was a proper footstep. Yeah. That sounded like it was over here. No one shuffled the feet, no? No. If that was you. Was you what's that top then? That's just the corner behind me. If that's you that's making those noises and those footsteps, please make them a lot louder. We're all sat round 
table in the middle of this room, which must have been a very busy room, full of very important people. Are we in your way? Are we in your way? Are we in your way? Are we disrupting your work? I've been hearing, and I don't know whether it's just my ears, but throughout the I can night, hear nothing. I can hear conversations. Yes. Like low level yes. talk. Yeah, right. Yes. 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 Really I, I low. Thought it was just yeah. me. All the time. No, Thank it's you, like Winston. everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely it's everywhere. Conversations in different yeah. areas. Mm -hmm. I always think, particularly, it's quite noticeable here that the, one of the weirdest things is to think that in the whole bunker, everybody that's here is here right now. Mm -hmm. And I always think it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like this is it. It feels like there are people it wandering feels like around. There's loads of people here. It's busy. Yeah. It always feels busy. Is there someone here called Sarah? Is Sarah behind Gemma? Oh, If so, please tell us who you are. Are there any Germans? Which way? Oh, okay. Which way? Oh, okay. Which way? Oh, okay. What the hell? That's just gone on. Yeah. Something. There's no draft there. What? Because I didn't know whether it was that or whether... Oh, fuck, I saw Miss Shadow. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. I thought Come I didn't on. know whether it was that or whether it was that. So it sounded a bit like that. Yeah, but I assumed that it was this, but there's nothing there. <laughs> I'll tell you, so if I say you scared you know, <laughs> If I was on my own, I'd have had a shot out of there. You're not supposed to be able to hear them upstairs. God. I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. Whether it is noise from up there or whether That's there is... That's a lot of noise coming from this end. That's a soundproof room. So it's been no noise from this one. Well, that sounds like chair scraping, didn't it? Mm. really doing in there is there? That's gotta be from them upstairs. It's gotta be. It's a picture we didn't have we don't have um the walkie talkies. Yeah. Chair, shall we? Yeah. Which side are you going? There or there. Oh shit. What's that chair? <laughs> <laughs> They're fine. They're all right. They're all right. They're fine. And that's it. Oh, yeah. still give me shakes in here. It's cold. Yeah. It is really cold. Mm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of being in here because it seemed quite warm out there. Yeah. It seemed cold in here. Which way do you want to do that? Um, shall we go to the which way? We've got the big. St I'm tempted to go back that way towards the big stair, Ian, the big oh, staircase the where we've had quite a lot of. Mm. Oh, the switches in here. Mm. Why did she leave? That door moved into the centre. We're all like that. Where are they really? Yeah. But then they put them back. Like that. Because that one's mm. very stiff, that. That's not easy to move. Necessarily like to uh, work here. The first time I came, I would have said, "No, I'm not bothering me." That's me, don't worry. Uh, now I'm not sure. <laughs> Especially after talking to Melissa and Jolene, yeah. and a few bits, it's just enough to make me think. Have we gone round in a circle? Yeah, that's what this one is, you just go down the circle. 
Oh, we're out here. And so we're back out in the yeah. Kilo again. There might be a small amount of... There might be a small amount of... There might be a small amount of... A secret level, but... It's not as much as they can, I'm sure. No. No, it might be a couple of rooms. Yeah. But I think if you look at the height of this ceiling, they can't be another room and then that, because they don't have to height you go up. It's only half, it's about that. <clears throat> If there are any images here, any people that used to work in this bunker, if you come forward, come and join us, come and join us, come and join us, we don't mean you any harm, we are here to talk to you. We're here to ask you questions. We realise that this, is, this was part of the Ministry of Defence and we're not asking for any information regarding anything that's classified. All that we're here to do is get to know you as a person and understand why you're here. If there's a male, there's gentlemen, in this room. Did you hear that? If there is a gentleman here with us now, and if that was you that made that noise, could you possibly make that noise again, please? Someone exhaled them. I heard that. I thought it was just something. No one exhaled. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. It was a mm -hmm. sort of thing. Well, thank you if that was you. We really do appreciate your efforts. But if you can, come closer to where we are. Honestly, don't be frightened of us. But we're here to talk to you. Is there anything that you can do that you haven't done already? Just to make your presence known to us. If there's someone here with us now, please walk down this corridor towards us. Don't mean any harm. We are here to talk to you. If you've turned the camera off at the end of the corridor, is it because you don't want to be seen? Is it because you want to be left alone? Or is the camera just simply in your way? But use the collective energy of everyone that's here we would love to see you. We're going to have to leave now. Is there anything that you'd like to say or do? Do you hear that? Oh, tell. Yeah. Is there anything that you'd like to say? Sorry. 
thinking is like a scuff. Are you walking towards us? Coming down that big staircase and walking towards us. Keep coming. Keep making those big heavy strides towards us in those uh, very shiny heavy shoes. There's an uh, aluminium bit at the bottom of the door. No, no, no to the right at the bottom of the door. In the gap. Well, the other door should be open, shouldn't it? Yeah, can you see something in the door? It looks like there's something there. Is there something in the doorway? Come forward. Come towards me. Don't be shy. Be bold and brave and walk towards us. can see something in the doorway. What are you? Who are you? Tell us. Show yourself to us, please. Hello. 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 Did someone hear that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep making those noises for me, please. Well, keep, keep making those noises. The louder, the better. How do you think the investigation went tonight? I thought it went very well, well hasn't yeah. it? It's gone, it's gone quite quick, actually. Yeah. It's uh, quite surprised. exciting things happening, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been, um, been really good. Noises and footsteps and all sorts of things going on. Breaths and, oh, it's been brilliant. The towns have been very good. So what part of the investigation did you enjoy the most? Well, I like the government. Um, Room. Yeah, there's quite a lot of activity in there, and, um, and also the little theatre that was quite, yeah, that was quite active, really. and also down in the bottom corridor, um, uh, where the where the bomb is, bomb is where like we, had the bomb the bomb we had the bomb moving. We actually had the bomb swinging. I mean, that, that was, was amazing. We've often. never seen that no, before at no, all, have we, we? We've only been here a couple of times, and, yeah. But and last time we came, it didn't move. No, it didn't. From the team members that have been several times before us, they've never seen it move. So, so that was, we were quite lucky to see that happening. That was really good. What area did you think was the most active? I think down at the bottom of the stairs was quite active. Yeah, and the government quite a bit room. in the government room. Was quite yeah, a lot in the they were very room. active. Yeah. So would you like to come back? Yeah, yeah. Think yeah. yeah. when yeah. it's a bit warmer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not in the middle of winter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, it's been very good. We've enjoyed yeah, it, it's been and it's it's gone really quick tonight. It's, it's gone, really, gone well. really well. Yeah. yeah. After another successful investigation, the team can now rest until the next time. So, on behalf of myself and the rest of Thirty Paranormal Team, thank you for watching.